Hey everyone, I'm Argama Witch and today we're going to turn this model into a chibi and this will work for any V-Ray model for the most part. It will require some adjustments and I'm going to take you through the process of how that is done. Uh, so the first thing I do is I start with the body and what I want to do is get it as small and as short as possible. Uh, a good ratio for chibis is the body is either one to two heads in size which means however big the head is going to be, make the body at least one to two uh, times that size. Anything bigger looks a little awkward. Um, and I don't think you can actually get a one to one ratio. So I, I go to about one and a half to. Uh, so I shrink the body, I enlarge the head. Mind you, this is gonna look a little terrifying at first, but you know, it'll get there. These things are both cute and terrifying. Uh, so we shrunk the arms, we shrunk the hands, and I shrunk the bust down. Even if you have a big bust, it's best to shrink it down as almost small as possible. Um, you barely want any nuptials there. Uh, we want to get the legs down. We want to get the feet down as well. But here you gotta adjust like some of the um, the proportions. Like the waist looked a little too big for the, that body size, so I kind of like messed around. Gave it itty bitty tiny feet. You can actually go the opposite direction, but it looks a little funnier in v -Roid. And this is me just trying to make sure that I have it at the right two head body height. Yeah, so it's like three, three head height all, all together. Um, and don't worry about the hair, we're gonna fix that long hair afterwards. Uh, now we're going to go to the face editor and we're going to round out the face as much as possible. We want them to basically have a baby face. Um, or like as close to a circle as possible. So that'll bring out the, the roundness of, of the cheeks and the uh, roundness of the chin. Um, sometimes you can enlarge the mouth and it'll help it like give that chibi look. Other times you might want to shrink it. And we're going to move all the facial features down towards the bottom of this face. Um, and it looks strange at first, but once you enlarge the eyes and uh, reproportion everything to more chibi standards, it kind of looks alright. It's, it's You just kind of play around to see what looks good. Thought the eyebrows were a little too high and we will slide them right down here. Yeah. So it like it's slightly terrifying, but it's also kinda cute, you know? And I'm gonna adjust and bring the mouth down a little further. And it doesn't really matter too too much what it looks like from the side, since for the most part we're gonna be facing forward. Uh, and that's pretty much if you don't have long hair, what you would do. Now, if you have long hair, you're gonna wanna fix that. Um, and for me, uh, what I do is I, uh, on, on the uh, right hand side, there is a height in the guide parameters, and I just drag that all the way down. This might not always work depending on uh, what you're actually working with. Um, and if you have things like animal tails, those have to be adjusted or even remade completely. Um, if there are animal ears, for example, I do tend to round off the tips of them to make them more child friendly, if you will. Makes them more round and bubbly. But yeah, this is, um, this is pretty much it. It was super quick and super easy to do. Um, looking good. Yeah. So if you found this uh, helpful, I would appreciate, you know, those likes and uh, subscribe if you want to see more from me. If you have any uh, suggestions for future v videos, let me know down in the comments below. And I will see you guys later. Bye! <laughs>